So I'll, I'll tell you that my recommendation, and uh, although we haven't talked about it in a, a little while, I'm sure Dr. Finney will agree, is that as far as metabolic diseases go, we haven't found um, a need for exogenous ketones, and we don't know the whole story. So let me preface by saying I think there's going to be a role for exogenous ketones in some diseases. I think certainly we're going to find a role for them in neurologic diseases, maybe epilepsy, things like that, okay? Um, certainly with something called group 1 deficiency, which is an inherited disease, there's going to definitely be a role for exogenous ketones. But we want people to be making ketones from what? From their stored fat, right? And we don't even still really understand if we're taking exogenous ketones, can you block some of that production, your endogenous production, okay? So at least right now, until we get more data on this subject, in, when it comes to metabolic diseases, I say right now, probably not. Let me just say, in my opinion, the marketing of exogenous ketones is way out ahead of the science. There is excellent science in progress. There is, um, there are some uses for them. You may know that, that a couple of the teams that were leaders and in, 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 in members of one of the teams in the, uh, in the Tour de France won the Tour de France the last three years using exogenous ketones as a boost, not as their primary fuel, but it's, you know, you, you know some of these races are won by a foot and a half and if, that, you know, you've, you've, if somebody knocks back you know, 30 grams of, of ketones you know, five miles before the finish, it may give them the edge to win. Um, uh, but that doesn't translate to the fact that we all need them. The other problem is that much of the ketones being sold right now are chemically synthesized. And we make ketones in, uh, uh, ketones exist in two mirror image versions, left and right. Our bodies only make right, they don't make left. When we give left, the left mirror image to the body, it struggles to use it. And yet, if you buy seven grams of ketones in someone's unnamed product and they pay, want to charge you $10 for seven grams of the ketones, half of them are the left-hand version that don't, aren't going to help you much. Uh, we got to get away, that's called the racemic mixture. We need to get to the pure right stuff. You know, I should, I should, right stuff, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, and there are ways of, of generating that in, we've discovered natural sources of it that actually will, will become, make this relatively inexpensive. Um, so the, there is a big future for this, but we've got to understand how to use it, where to use it, we've got to be smart and not be a bunch of lemmings running over the cliff chasing a bad ketone mixture. So I, for the time being, I would st say stay tuned. And well, in the meantime, you know, I'll, I'll, I've been doing this for 13 years continuously, and sometimes it's hard. Um, but in a good day, my liver probably makes 70 grams, 70, 75 grams of the, the right mixture of ketones. And at a dollar a gram or a dollar or more per gram to buy them, my liver is giving me minimum wage. <laughs> Just just by keeping my berry fruit limit to 100 grams a day and only two ounces of nuts and enjoying the, the unctuous and savory things in, in, in my diet and in my life. <laughs>